Welcome everybody uh, back to my channel, where, to our next Transformers Studio Series video, which I will be reviewing a record named Leadfoot. Alright, before we, um, like, talk about Leadfoot and, like, um, transform him and review, review the little guy, Steelja. before we reveal them, let, let's go over their packaging grade, their, um, their box and everything. Alright. So over here we can see Leadfoot posing as for ba posing as if he was re as if he was ready for battle. Um, he is number six sixty eight, deluxe class Leadfoot. He's a deluxe class. His only appearance is in Transformers: Dark of the Moon and Age of Extinction. In Age of Extinction, his appearance was only for like seven seconds, where he where he is sadly murdered by Lockdown and and the, the government dudes and all that stuff. He transforms in 18 steps, but here we can see a mini steel drop figure, another lead foot figure, and lead foot with his array of five weapons. He's inspired by the movie Transformers Dark of the Moon, his iconic movie scene is Battle of Chicago. Right here, these tags are like for Hasbro has authorization to, um, you know, copy the character, do the same exact car and stuff. They need the authorization from the company that, that the car is from. Alright, um... Made by Hasbro, manufactured under the Karatami. Do not give to kids under 3 years of age. They could really choke on this one. Right here we can see a nice picture of Leadfoot with a dark background. Right here, um, right here we can see Leadfoot posing as in a different angle for battle. And right here we can clearly see his backdrop in the background right there. Alright. Alright, so now let's, let's head toward, now let's, uh, head toward Leadfoot. Alright. So, Leadfoot, I believe, is a Chevy Impala, I believe. He turns into uh, a NASCAR, actually. He turns into a NASCAR in 18 steps, as I said before. He has, actually, five weapon accessories. Two missile launchers, two Gatling guns, I believe, and one regular gun right here. And right here, we can see his mini mi miniature steel jaw figure. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Um, to transform him, we you have to remove all of his weapon accessories, from car to robot or robot to car. You have to remove them all and, and follow the instructions. All right. So now his card looks like it has no protection. It looks naked. Let's just say that. All right. So now you you disconnect the pieces from the back and from the arms from the legs. You disconnect them. To pull it up a bit. Pull it up a little bit and like that. All right. So now you take out his hood and everything, his chunky part. Then you release it. This is um actually my mom's favorite transformer. That's why I got it so so that she could feel like so she could feel like oh he got that one I like it and all that stuff. You know how moms are. All right. All right. So now you have, you have Leadfoot's almost halfway Leadfoot. Leadfoot looks all skinny-ish. Okay, look. Here's the tricky part. You have to make sure his tummy comes out like that. Make sure he's facing down like that. Make sure his tummy is sticking out. Because in the movie, he is, he is chubby. He's a chunky Autobot. And there you have Leadfoot. Congratulations, you have Leadfoot. Alright. The belly keeps going in, but not to worry, just always stick it out, like that, and then there. And right here, the images appear like Leadfoot is all skinny-like and everything. But if you if you want to make him look more stubby, I recommend that you pull his legs up like that if he was doing the splits all the way up. And make sure he, he looks like that. And always stick out his toes so that he could have perfect balance. To even make him look, make, look even more stubbier. Try to make sure that the black part from the joint of his feet to the legs isn't showing up. Like, least, make sure it shows up least as possible if you want to make him as stubby looking as possible. Alright, now you have your Transformers. You have your Transformer Autobot lead foot. Now, about the weapons. About these weapons here. See them all? Five weapon accessories. They all go in certain spots. Now we'll start with this um, little gun right here. 
Um, you have two choices to put. You could put it on this side because there's a little hole. There's a little hole right there. You can see it, and right there as well. So you have the choice of putting it on this side or that side. I like this side more. I don't know why. I just like that side more. I always like the left side more. But the I even though I am right-handed, I like the left side more. <laughs> All right. So you just shimmy it in there. Just you stick it in there like that. Okay. Now about his little mini guns are right here. So they all the they each individually go on his arm. There's a little slot right there. And then there's a little tab as well. So you connect those two together. And then what you, what you do to that side, you do to this side as well. You do to the second arm. And if you're interested in toy hunts, head to my channel, go to the playlist called Transformers Studio Series Toy Hunt. And right there, there's one video where I actually found Ledfa at Target. He is a Target exclusive, only at Target. And I believe it's ridiculous that Walmart, Amazon, and other places are trying to sell him as well. Target is the cheapest place that you can get him at, at $20. He's pretty good. Not he's he's a very good quality. Not cheap. He's not a cheap quality. Um, I I really love love this figure. It's one of my favorite figures actually. Um, his missile his missile attachments go over right here where they were, and the missile attachments have two tabs. That that one is for the car mode. One is for robot mode. All right. Now you have lead foot, and then his mini steel jaw figure. You can put place it right next to lead foot as well. And if you have your road buster and your top spin figures, I recommend that you that you put them aside with lead foot as well. Alright. And if you want to showcase lead foot in his backdrop, I recommend that you take it out of the box and place it out. Place it out back and there. You have Lead Foot and Steel Jaw. Even though Steel Jaw never appeared in the film Transformers: Dark of the Moon, he had a secret appearance inside um, Lead Foot's um, chest and tummy area. He had he was probably hiding in there. That's what I think. But other than that, Steel Jaw um, is a great, great little minifigure. One of my favorites, besides Igor, Laserbeak, and Wheelie and Brains. Besides those, this is one of my favorite little minifigures that they have. Alright, so to showcase Steel Jaw as well, you just put him right next to your left foot like that. Or right below him actually, like that if you want. Alright, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was helpful and everything. Uh, um, leave a nice comment, please subscribe. Smash that notification button. I will button. And I'll see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video and our next toy hunt and so on. And maybe perhaps another Jurassic World Evolution video if you're checking those out. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. This is Studio Series number 68, Leadfoot. Oh, and I don't know if I told you about it, but um, 69 is going to be a giant box set of Devastator. And 70, 71, 72, 73, and so on. They're going to be some of the newest Wave 11s. And numbers 8601, like 86 stands for 1986 from the year um, Transformers. The original, original Transformers movie was released. And then they're going to have a tiny little number. Like It's going to kind of look like this. Just imagine this is a scene from the original movie. Like, pretend this is 86 even though it says 68. Just read it backwards. Um, just imagine there's a little number down here that says 01, 02. That, that's, how the, that's how the newest ones are going to look like. The, the ones that, that have 86. 86 stands for the year 1986 where the original Transformer movie was released. Alright, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a nice comment, smash that notification button. I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video. And and in the description, I'll tell you um all about Lightfoot and everything. And tell me in the comments which Transformers you want to watch. And I'll try to send you a video. And... First, just check the channel if the video is there, and if not, tell me, and then I will check. Alright, thank you for watching, please subscribe, I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video, goodbye.